guys, and thank you for joining me for a Sunday supper. We are going to make meatloaf from start to finish, and I thought I would walk you through the process and share with you just how I like to do it. So I've got in my bowl here three pounds of ground beef, um, two eggs, some mustard, salt, pepper, ground, um, garlic powder, and I added in a packet of onion soup mix, and then I also crushed up some Ritz crackers and a little bit of leftover um, rye bread that I had sitting on the counter that needed to get used up. And then we're just gonna mush all that together until you have this nice um, formed loaf. Okay, there we go into my giant pan. So this is a 13 by five um, baking pan. You could squish this into a nine by five, I think is what the other size is. Um, if you want like a nice big tall thick meatloaf, um, I however do not want that. Um, we have 10 for dinner tonight. You could cut this in half and, and serve less. It really just depends on you and how much meatloaf you want per serving. But again, this is three pounds of ground beef. Put it on the lana for I lose. Okay. I lose. So I got one can of mandarin oranges. I drain it most of the way. And just leave a little bit of juice as you can see and then like a scoop i don't measure guys like that's what i got left there but anyways it's a scoop of cottage cheese a scoop of yogurt and a scoop of sour cream and then again same thing mostly drained but not completely a can of pineapple or fresh pineapple you can use fresh pineapple it doesn't have to be drained okay so i just give this a good mix break up the oranges a little bit because you don't want them to stay super whole and that is like the base of our marshmallow salad this is like a staple in our house we eat this many times throughout the week i couldn't even tell you how many times a week we eat this and it's honestly so yummy and it's got a good amount of protein fat all the other good stuff yes it's a little on the sweet side but it's actually not crazy sweet there's no added sugar fruit yes there's marshmallows but whatever okay and then my bag of marshmallows i have here one how big are you a large bag is this a large bag of marshmallows i don't know yeah 400 grams that's a large bag so one large bag of mini marshmallows so the original like original recipe for this from years ago calls for colored marshmallows. I don't like colored marshmallows. I don't like the taste. I don't like that they're full of dye. So we just use plain white marshmallows. I think it tastes better. And then also a handful of coconut. Again, I'm not adding it because my husband likes to complain about it. Even though he'll eat it, I'm just not going to add it. There you have it. Marshmallow salad. And then I'll just put the coconut out. And, like, I'll sprinkle some on mine if I eat it. I don't always eat it. The kids like it. The baby likes it, which is great because it's got some good fat in there for her. Okay, so next up we have mashed potatoes. So I'm just dicing up our potatoes to get started on mashed potatoes. Um, and I want to say thank you real quick here to Tiffany over at Small Town 6 for hosting Sunday Suppers. It is an open monthly group playlist or group collab. Um, I will link the group playlist in the description box down below as well as Tiffany's channel. And I hope you will go and check her out. She has lots of amazing content that I know you will find something on it you enjoy. And I hope you'll check out the playlist as well because I'm sure you will find something yummy and inspirational for you to make for dinner um, this week. So thanks guys for joining me. I really appreciate you being here. Alright, and there's our leftovers, and I purposely um, took my meatloaf out and put it into this container before I even cut it up because I knew I was going to have leftovers and I knew I was going to be using this instead of dirtying an extra dish. Yeah, that's what I did. It worked. So, there you go. Leftovers. Just enough leftover to have um, probably lunch tomorrow or maybe some meatloaf sandwiches, whatever. The kids will devour the potatoes and corn for lunch for sure. And we're just in the process of cleaning up. Almost done our dishes, so... That's it. That's all she wrote, folks. That is my Sunday dinner. Um, it's sorry, it's a little bit dark in here.
I guess I could turn my light on, but um, now it's super bright in here. So that's my Sunday dinner, guys. I wanted to say one more time real quick thank you to our host, um, Tiffany, over at Small Town 6 for hosting Sunday Suppers. It is a monthly collab, um, the first Sunday of every month, so don't forget to check it out. Um, oh, update from the doctor. So for anybody who may or may not have seen my tiny tidy, um, I was having an issue with draining um, around the like this my surgical site healed really nicely but it was not draining nicely um, so I did have like a big lump on my neck so I went in and they drained it and now we're doing compression dressing um, for the next like couple of days um, there's like a it's like special tape or whatever um, so anyways they're compression doing a compression on it and hopefully that will make it heal the right way and reroute it and if not then they'll have to open it up and figure it out from there but for now we're hopeful that this will be enough um, so yeah, thanks for joining me for Sunday Supper, guys. And I will see you uh, very soon for, I think we've got Tiny 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 Tuesday coming up in a couple days. Okay, bye guys.